Happy birthday to me. Hello, friends, and welcome back. It's me, Miley, and today I'm going to share with you my birthday haul, all the things that I got for my birthday. I might have spoiled myself a little bit, so uh, let's get into it. Oh, but before we get into it, don't forget to subscribe because we're working hard toward our goal to hit a thousand subscribers this year. So click that red subscribe button and now let's go to an explanation of what this haul entails. It's my birthday month. My birthday is January 19th. So if you happen to be watching this the day that it comes out, my birthday was yesterday. I am filming this before my birthday because I'm gonna be in Disney World for my birthday. So I'm pre-filming a little bit and I've pretty much already done all my birthday shopping. So the way Eric and I do birthdays is we each budget a specific dollar amount for our birthdays. And we like to do birthdays very different. Eric loves the surprise of birthdays. He doesn't wanna have anything to do with the planning. He doesn't wanna know what's happening. He wants me to take it and run with it and plan gifts and some exciting party or excursion or trip or something for his birthday. He just wants the surprise of it and he does not want the work of doing anything prep wise for his birthday. I'm the exact opposite. Like I would love it if he would randomly surprise me every once in a while, but like surprises aren't that big of a deal to me. In fact, they kind of stress me out, especially if I know they're coming for something like my birthday because I like what I like and I'm very decisive and I know what I want. So typically I have a really good idea of what I might wanna do for my birthday each year. So for the past couple of years, he's kind of just let me run with my own budget and pick out my own presents and do whatever activity I wanna do. So this year is a little different because like I said, we will be in Disney World for my birthday because we are going on vacation, just happens to be the same week of my birthday. So that's freaking lucky and so I decided to take my entire birthday budget and spend it all by just going shopping. My mom and I went shopping in New York, I'll link the vlog where we did that here. And I did some online shopping as well. I did some shopping with gift cards that I received. So this is a big haul, okay? I don't normally get this spoiled with stuff for my birthday, but like I said, I used my whole birthday budget this year to just go shopping. So I went a little crazy. So with that caveat, um, let me show you all the stuff I got. So the first thing is this shirt that I'm wearing. I got it from Aerie. I love Aerie. It's very comfy. It is so soft, but not like fleece or a super hot fabric. It's very breathable. So I really like it. That's the first thing. Also from Aerie, I got, oh, two pair of these pants. So um, these are brown. They have a line down the middle and they are super flared at the bottom and have a cute like cut out. So they're super cute. They are very flattering. You can dress them up or dress them down. I wore the gray pair with um, another thing I'll show you in this haul to see Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, which by the way, I'll link that vlog here where my family and I went to go see Broadway shows when I was in New York last. But you can also just wear them lounging around the house. They're very versatile. So I got a brown pair and I got a gray pair. These are so comfy. Those are also from Aerie, like I said. And let's just keep this Aerie train going, shall we? Also from Aerie, uh, this shirt, which I definitely had to pull out of the dirty clothes because I've already worn it. It's just this cute um, chambray button up. It reminds me of Chessie, if you know, you know. Chessie from Parent Trap. <laughs> I love Chessie. So that's super cute too. I think that's everything I got from Aerie. Keeping on the clothes train, I got these black flare jeans from Gap, which I also pulled out of the dirty clothes because I already wore them. They're frayed and just a little bit flared at the bottom. I'm not loving the new flare trend, okay? Like I don't want a crazy flare pant, but I do like a wide leg pant. So these are, I would say more wide leg than they are flare, but I love them. They are so comfy, they're extremely high-waisted, and oh my gosh, I love them. I've been needing black jeans for a long, long time, so I was so happy when I found this pair because it's literally the most comfortable pair of jeans I own now, and I love it, from Gap. 
Okay, next from Anthropology, I got, I never go for orange stuff, but I got this just kind of a little bit nicer peplum, is that what that's called? Peplum style top. It's got kind of puffy sleeves that cinch and it's made of terry cloth. It like almost feels like a swim cover up except softer. Like I just love this fabric. It's gonna be very breathable. And I thought the orange was kind of fun. I never really wear orange, but might as well try. Okay, and then from Urban Outfitters, I got, oh, this flannel. This may be my favorite piece of clothing that I bought from that haul in New York. It is just so stinking cute. It's got this like very uneven raw edge hem that I love. I love the purple color. I wore it home from the airport on our New York trip and I've worn it a couple times since. It is so comfortable and it's made of true, true flannel material, but it is not hot at all, which is crazy because I get hot so easily in clothes. So I was a little worried about this fabric, but it's very breathable and amazing and I love it. It is from Urban Outfitters. Okay, then from Free People, I got Oh, this one might be my fave. It, actually, my mom bought this and then I convinced her to let me have it. Thanks, mom. Um, this adorable button down. It is like very relaxed, but still like you can totally dress this up. It's got a cool like different fabric on the sides. It's just such a freaking cute color. It's got this kind of raw ruffly almost detail at the buttons. I just think it is so pretty. I loved the color. I love the fit of it. It just kind of is so easy to throw on, but still you can dress it up enough to like go out in it. I love this. And again, it's from Free People. Free People is like my favorite store, okay? Another thing, another thing I got from Free People, which I, this might be my favorite thing I bought. This is so cozy. And this is another sweatshirt that is not super hot. It's a really good breathable material. It's this like gray green color. It's very, very oversized. So you're gonna have to size down a couple sizes, but it's got all these cute ruffle details on some of the seams. And it's got this cute, like really long, but cut out sleeve. It's got the ruffles all down the back of it. It's just like really freaking cute. And it's got, um, cutouts at the side, but like the, the front of the side, I don't know. It's very flattering on. I love the way it looks, love the way it feels. Again, you can dress it up or down. This is what I paired with those airy pants to go to Harry Potter. And I looked super cute. It looked like a fashion moment. Like it didn't look like I was wearing sweats. It looked like fashion, you know, but comfy fashion. This is from Free People. And to round out clothes, I got these two show t-shirts. This one from Into the Woods. It's just black and it says Into the Woods. And this one from Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Again, it just says Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. This one's cool because it's got the logo on the back and then it has Lyric Theater New York location on the back. So the theater in New York is the only place you can get the t-shirt that says New York on the back. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then also at Harry Potter, I got a Hogwarts ornament. I'll put it on the screen here so you can just see what it looks like, but it is already packed up with my Christmas stuff. So I wasn't gonna get it out. Okay, moving on. I got, <laughs> I ordered these from Amazon because they were based on my mother's recommendation and they are quickly becoming my new favorite thing. They are these no-show socks, okay? They are like $15 for a pack of I think six on Amazon. These are the best no-show socks I have ever worn. I will link them down below. They stay on your feet. They come up high enough that they don't like cut into you. They have a grippy right here on the heel. So it truly stays on and they come up really far on your um, the front of your foot as well. They're so comfy. They have this little band across the middle so it kind of cinches to your foot. I cannot recommend these highly enough. They're extremely thin too. So they don't like make your foot feel really tight by being super thick in a shoe. These are awesome. I wear these with my Hoka's that I got for Christmas and with my new Sorel tennis shoes I got for Christmas and they are perfect for both of those shoes. So these are, I'm not gonna wear any other socks besides these, these are wonderful. Next, my sister and I went shopping one day on Main Street in Nyack, their little cute town in New York. And I went to, um, I forgot what this store is called. It's a local store. And I got this silver, ring. I actually got this gold ring in the same store a year ago and I've worn it every single day since. So I got this silver to stack with it too. Love the look of a silver and a gold moment. And they're still like very dainty, even though it's two of them stacked together. Love it. So stinking cute. I also at that same store got, can you see those? These adorable flower 
earrings for my doubles that I absolutely love. They're so cute and comfy. I just, I've literally, I put them in when I bought them and I haven't taken them out since. They're just the perfect, like tiny little dainty double piercing earring, but they're cute and very detailed. They're a little daisy. I just love them so much. Then at that same store, can you sense a trend that I love this store? I got this fanny pack, which is so like retro looking. I love it. It's actually a brand called Bagu, which funnily enough at Urban Outfitters, I bought this laptop case that is the same brand. So how funny is that, that I bought this, didn't, had never heard of the brand before, but loved like the, it's very, oh, what's this fabric called? I don't know, it's like squishy and like windbreakery-esque. It is the best laptop sleeve I've ever used. It's automatic, like built-in padding. It fits my um, computer so stinking well. I love it so much. Um, but funny that the next couple days I went to a completely different store. Like this was Urban Outfitters. This was a very like as local as you can get little Main Street shop. And I got a bag that was the exact same brand unknowingly. How funny is that? So I got this specifically because we need a fanny pack for our trip that we're taking to Universal and to Disney World. We have a backpack and we have a little like Lululemon crossbody fanny pack, but we needed something in between that could hold more stuff, but that I make Eric wear them too because I don't wanna wear a fanny pack all day, every day. So I make him wear it too. So this is at least black. He probably won't like the flowers, but he can suck it up. So I just thought this was so stinking cute for our trip coming up. And I loved this so much that as soon as I got home, I ordered another one for my work laptop since I travel so much for not only work, but also for visiting my family in New York. So I always take both my laptops with me. So I ordered another one of these in the cutest print. I'll show it right here. It's this adorable strawberry pattern. Oh my gosh, I love it so stinking much. You guys need to look into this brand if you um, have never heard of it because they have some really cute like travel accessories and and little bags, just so stinking cute, like puffy quilted, but not quilted because it's like windbreaker material. Anyway, I love this brand. And the, isn't the design just like so unique and cute? I freaking love it. And then the last thing that I have in person, I have other things to show you that I bought online that aren't here yet, but the last thing in person I bought was this adorable black bracelet. It is so stinking dainty. Um, but it hangs so nicely on my arm. I've been wanting a bracelet like this for ages that I can just leave on. It goes with everything. It's so dainty and teeny tiny, but it's cute. And this one has black beads with blue and light pink and kind of a corally orange. My f One of my favorite color combinations is black and blue because you wouldn't typically put them together, but they just look so nice together. So I loved that this was my favorite color black, but had that pop of blue and pop of a couple pinks. I just thought it was so pretty, so dainty, and I've loved wearing it. I haven't taken it off since I bought it. So cute. Okay, so another thing that I bought that isn't here because it wouldn't fit in a suitcase and I didn't trust it to be shipped because I didn't want it to break. You saw me get it in that shopping hall with my mom in New York, but it's this Anthropology Advent calendar. I love it so much. It looks like it's straight out of a Wes Anderson movie. I love the style of it. I've been wanting an advent calendar and searching for an advent calendar for a couple years now and just haven't found that perfect one until when my mom and sister were in Oklahoma last we went to Anthropology in like October. They had their holiday stuff out and I saw that advent calendar and I was like, oh, that is it. That is the one that I have been searching for. I love it so much. I have to have it right now. And then I turned it over and looked at the price and it was $127. And I literally could not do it. I couldn't bring myself to spend $127 on an advent calendar. I just simply couldn't do it, but it broke my heart. To leave that store without it and honestly I thought about it every week since then and even so much that I've gone on anthropology online and looked multiple times for it and they don't carry it online anymore it was like one of those items that just haunts you you know I just totally regretted not buying it the more I thought about it the more I was like it was worth $127 I should have just done it dang it um, and so when my mom and I on this most recent shopping trip in New York walked into anthropology a couple days after Christmas what did I see on the 50% off table, but one advent calendar left 
of the exact one that I wanted. And I was like, divine intervention. God above has sent me this advent calendar and it's 50% off now. So I got it for a steal of a deal and I like snatched it up right then and there. And I was so, so, so happy. So I'm so happy to have that. And um, I left it at my parents' house and I'm going to bring a specific bag next time I go just to bring it home in <laughs> so that it doesn't break. Okay, another thing I ordered is seemingly totally random, but it's a product that I heard about through Jessica Braun, who's one of my favorite YouTubers. I talk about her all the time, probably too much. And she has recommended this and showed it in some of her and her husband's vlogs. It is a butter crock and it is like magical. I had never really heard about this before until she showed it in her vlog. Um, I got mine specifically from Le Creuset. That's where I get like all my fancy kitchen stuff from Le Creuset. And I got a red one to match my kitchen. I have a very like vintage kitchen vibe. So I do classic kitchen red um, in all my like appliances and accessories and stuff. But you put the butter in it and you put a little bit of water in the bottom and you tip it upside down inside the butter crock and it like magically keeps your butter fresh but soft and i use butter all the time on like toast and on potatoes and stuff like that and it's always such a freaking hassle um and so my mom and i were actually watching the video of jessica braun recommending a bunch of different products and that was in it and we were both like oh my god what is this magic we need it so i bought one for my mom for christmas funnily enough and then i bought myself one but that's on its way it just hasn't arrived yet and then two more things i bought that are on the way that i have not received yet but that i bought for myself are this Minnie mouse sweatshirt i got it from gap i believe for our upcoming trip i just thought it was so cute the little mini in the corner it's going to be like 80s like t-shirt weather most of the time but in the evenings it's gonna be a lot colder in like the 60s and so i thought it would be good to have kind of a lightweight sweatshirt to throw on do i have multiple disney sweatshirts i could take with me yes did i need to buy a new one for this trip no i did not did i yes and then the last thing i bought myself that hasn't arrived yet and then i have one more big item to show you is this Jonathan Van Ness hair serum. It is like the most random thing. I saw it advertised on Instagram. I buy so many things from Instagram advertisements. It's apparently a scalp serum that you use right before you wash your hair. So you like put it all over your scalp. It's in a little droplet and it's supposed to, you let it sit on your hair for like 10 to 15 minutes right before you get in the shower and do your normal shampoo routine. And it's just supposed to like revitalize your scalp, help with like dandruff and peeling. I have scalp problems. So I'm really excited to try this to see if it will help with some like dry skin and itching that I have on my scalp. Can't wait to try it. Um, and it's supposed to like help nourish your scalp without making your hair oily. So I'm excited about that because that's typically my problem is my scalp gets really, really dry and itchy, but my actual hair follicles are oily. So it's like, I can't put something straight on my scalp because then my hair will look oily. It's a whole mess, okay? So maybe Jonathan Van Ness has the thing for me that's going to solve all my hair problems and help me live my best life. I hope so, because it costs $30. <laughs> okay, and then lastly, I bought something for our house that I am beyond excited for. Let me show it to you. So I don't know which, I don't know which vlog I recently said this in, but my grandparents gave us a painting that we put in our entryway. And I've been wanting something to go under it. Um, and I just haven't found that exact right thing. So the backstory about this is my parents had these benches in their first house in New York in their dining room. And I had no idea where they came from. I had never seen them before until they were in their New York house. So I told my dad, I was like, I want those benches. Whenever you're done with them, I want them. And you guys know me, I take so much of my dad's hand-me-downs because he has the best taste. So he just passes it down to me when he's done with it. And he was like, oh, you don't want those. They're just like cheap Amazon benches. And I was like, no, no, I want them. They're freaking cool. And he just bought them randomly off Amazon. And so flash forward to like two years later when they were moving out of their house and into their big house in New York that you guys have seen and they're in now, they had a big garage sale and I wasn't there. I couldn't go for some reason to help with the garage sales, even though I love garage sales. And they ended up putting those two benches in the garage sale instead of saving them for me. And I was really mad about it. And I let them have it. But guess what? Then I found 
the exact same benches on Amazon. So I bought one for under my horse painting at my front door and it literally is perfect. So let me show it to you. Ah, look how perfect that is. I love it so much. It's this really cool, like almost jute, like woven fabric. And I just love the design. I think it's so pretty. It's kind of has a like a westerny vibe, but just look how perfect it looks with the colors of the horse painting. And man, I just love it. And it fills this entryway so much better, man. I'm obsessed. I love it. So that was the last thing I got. But that is it. Thank you so much for coming to my birthday haul. I will link as much as I can down below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!